I think you need to forget about the U.S. election and uh, filter out any noise that comes out from the election and just focus on the fundamentals. And the fundamentals, Matt, is that we are going to need a lot more fiscal support and interest rates will remain low. Those are the only two things that investors need to focus on, that there will be a lot more government support, and uh, not only in America, but around the world, and interest rates will remain low. And I, and I can't see a, a time when the interest rates will rise anywhere above 1%. So those 10-year treasuries, I think, you know, will be capped at around 0.75%, and compare that with equities. That is what you need to do as a serious investor. Is this $2.2 trillion that the Democrats are proposing enough to help out the U.S. economy? Uh, probably not. I think you will need an awful lot more. So consequently, I think, you know, there will be some wrangling going on between the lower and the upper house. The upper house will probably reject it. Uh, then you'll have to come up with another plan. But ultimately, America is in trouble and America requires fiscal support. So no matter how they do it, they're going to actually need to pump more money into the American economy in order to get it going. Because otherwise, what's going to happen is that it's just simply going to come off the boil and then they're going to need even more money. So might as well put the money in now when you need it rather than need, uh, pump in even more money uh, when the situation is a lot more dire. Have you been game planning various scenarios with respect to the outcome of the US election and what that could mean for markets because we've been talking a lot about the potential for a contested election. Yes, I have. And um, I've come up with the same answer every time I, I, I build certain scenarios. And that is that if you, if you invest in good companies, good, wonderful companies, they will find a way of working around whoever is the next uh, US president. So, so ultimately, what the market doesn't like at the moment is the uncertainty. And you're absolutely right, Matt. You know, I mean, it could be a Biden win. It could be a Trump win. It could be a contested election. A contested election would probably be the worst outcome of all because it means that it protracts that period of uncertainty. But what companies really need to know is who is actually going to be residing in the White House. Once they know that, then, of course, you know, they'll be able to work around what, what, whatever scenarios uh, come out from the White House. So if it was a, a Biden win, for instance, then I think there would be a lot more emphasis on uh, the, uh, the, uh, the environment and uh, people will be investing in those companies that uh, will benefit from environmental issues. But I think whichever uh, candidate were to occupy the White House, there will be a, a greater need for infrastructure spending.